Hey, good morning, everybody. Happy Final Fantasy Friday. My goodness, Raven, you were first. You were early. My goodness. Welcome on in. Welcome on in. Happy Final Fantasy Friday. I am very, very excited today to be starting a new game, which will be Final Fantasy V. Kind of getting back to the roots of Final Fantasy Friday because uh, we haven't done a good old read-along game in quite a while, so I'm very, very excited for that. Hey, Pwemis, welcome on in. Happy Final Fantasy Friday, Hunters. Good to see you. Good to see you. My goodness. Let me lift you all a good, good morning cheers. Welcome, everybody. Coffee is nice. So if you uh, need to get cozy, get yourself a nice warm beverage, whether it's coffee, tea, otherwise. Maybe some water, too. Don't forget the hydration. And uh, yeah. We're going to hop into Final Fantasy Friday. I do want to take a moment to recognize a couple things. So going on this week, we had the birthday of the the great Nobu Imatsu, who is responsible for all the great music from the Final Fantasy games. And so and he's had a huge impact on my life just through music of these games. So uh, that was let me double check. It was earlier this week. I can't remember if it was Tuesday or Wednesday. But that man is responsible for many, many, many wonderful works of art. And uh, he deserves some praise. Yeah, it was uh, on the 21st. Yeah. So that was Tuesday. Yeah. <laughs> Doing wonderful. Doing wonderful, Hunters. Doing wonderful. How are you? How are you? Happy Friday. Happy Friday. And also going on this week, for those that pre-ordered uh, the book, or if you want to order it now, uh, Traces of Two Pasts. Uh, it's a expansion story about the stories of both uh, Tifa and Aerith. It's uh, by Katsushige... Am I saying this correctly? Uh, Nojima or Nojima, and he also penned the two books behind me, uh, On the Way to a Smile and The Kids Are All Right. Very, very excited for that one. My copy gets here today. I wanted to have it here to put up uh, as a decoration, uh, but it didn't quite get here yet. So I'm excited for that book that is out now. Not that I'm getting, uh, you know, benefited by by plugging it but i'm sure if it's anything like these books uh it's going to be amazing so check that one out and also going on this weekend uh dj wife and i are going to final fantasy crystalline resonance which is a piano concert that's centered around the games it's much like distant worlds but it's all piano focused uh so we're going to that they're going to be projecting images from the games throughout ah i'm so excited these games are so wonderful couldn't sleep. Uh, also doing a six hour long stream on Disco Elysium didn't help. That would not help at all, Hunters. I totally understand that. And I've been uh, been dealing with the insomnia this week myself, so definitely get some rest this weekend, okay? Please get some rest if you can. All right. You ready for some Final Fantasy? Hopping into Final Fantasy V, and my goodness, Maddest, happy Pines Day, my friend. Happy Final Fantasy Friday. Oh, that prelude music. And this one's got more to the uh, the title screen. So I'm going to let this one play out a little bit so you guys can get the experience. Because otherwise, you might not see this. So I, I wanted to allow that to happen this morning. That uh, may seem like that at the time, Hunters, but it is totally not optional. <laughs> It is totally not optional. Uh, I guarantee you that. Good, good, good. That is good. You definitely need rest. Uh, but I wanted to share this with you guys because this uh, this title screen is so good. <laughs> hey, Akir, welcome in. Welcome in. Good morning. Good morning. Happy Final Fantasy Friday. Uh, doesn't that just soothe the soul? It's so good. 
need to get my controller paired up here too. Should be ready to go. Ah, maybe it's fighting me. <laughs> oh, Final Fantasy Fridays are the best. They are absolutely the best. All right, controller, why are you not pairing for me? Hey, there we go. There we go. Oh, we'll go through it again in a little bit. Oh, wait, there we go. <laughs> All right. Oh my goodness, I had this tested last night too. <laughs> Alright, we'll just uh we'll plug it in, use it hardwired. Hey, there we are. There we are. Oh, the music is so wonderful. So wonderful. Yeah, let's dive in. Welcome on in, everybody. Happy Final Fantasy Friday. This is Final Fantasy V. All right. <laughs> of course, Mattis. Got to do it live, dude. Got to do it live. I don't know what it is about the the retro Final Fantasies, but they just have such charm and character to them that it's just uh, oh, it's so good. Father. Do you really have to go? You know I do, dear. I need you to protect the castle. Under no circumstances are you to follow me. Do you understand? But father... Something is wrong with the wind. I must go to the wind shrine to make certain nothing's happened to the crystal. Yes, I've noticed it as well, but to go alone... Lena... I'm sorry, I'll be fine. Have faith. Probably Lena, I'm sorry. Oh man, that's awesome. Oh, look at that hair. Hair goals, man. My goodness. The wind just stopped. I've got to hurry. The wind stopped. Father! What in blazes? Wow, that's bright. Maddest. <laughs> oh, 
Uh oh. That's not good. Get on that chocobo and get the heck out of town. <laughs> okay. We are a freelancer. That's who we are so far. That's who we are so far. I need to change one little thing here. Here we are. Burb? Like the chocobo burb? Or are you uh, being right back, hunters? <laughs> Since uh, you're not normally here on Fridays, hunters, have you played any of the Final Fantasy games? And if so, uh, which ones have you played? And let me know if I need to rebalance audio, anybody. This is uh, a new game, so... Always have the new game issues of how loud it needs to be. Oh, I could just bask in this music all day long. <laughs> all day long. Uh, you know what? Let's take a peek, Mattis. You know, it sort of does. That is super cool. Like, uh, the wings kind of through the middle. Let's see if you guys can see my mouse over here. Yeah, so like the wings span through the middle. This is kind of like a bit of the body. The tail wraps around, and this is kind of the head wrapping back around. Yeah. I can see that. That's pretty dang cool. Tycoon Meteorite. I'm trying to uh, figure out the voice for this guy, so we'll kind of develop it as we go. Coco, wait here, okay? from her, you goblins. Oh, new fight music. Yes. Hey. Are you all right? Yeah. Yes. I believe so. I give you my thanks. My name is Lena. And you are? Me? Bart's. We got Bart's. Call me Bart's. Me and my chocobo just go wherever the trail leads us. Arts. This rock suddenly fell from the sky. The impact must have knocked me out. Guess it's a meteorite. A meteorite? I wonder if it has a connection to the wind stopping. Again, I give you my thanks. I wish I could do something more to show my appreciation. But I really must go. Whoa. Hey, hold up a sec. Bart, did you hear something? Huh? Oh. Uh-huh. 
Over there. Oh, this is cool. Oh, hey. Are you all right? Where am I? Oh, my aching head. Six alive, what happened? I don't remember. Eh, I can't remember anything. Looks like you hit your head pretty bad. Maybe you got amnesia? Oh, something came back to me. My name is Gul Galif. Well, that's a start. Anything else? Nope, just the name. Other than that, my memory is completely blank. I'm very sorry, but you must excuse me. I have no time to waste. Where are you going? I must go to the Wind Shrine. The Wind Shrine? Now that you mention it, I'm pretty sure that's where I was headed. It's decided. I'm going with you. But... I've got to get to that shrine. I feel it in my bones. You've got to take me with. Hearts, what about you? Sorry, I'm gonna bow out on this one. Good luck, though. Parts, thank you again. Farewell. Godspeed! And all that whatnot. Sorry for the very, very awful <laughs> attempt at maybe a, a somewhat Scottish accent. <laughs> Come on, Boko. Let's go. If shadow or cacti are lurking, I, I apologize. <laughs> Whoa, Barts. Ow, Boko. Bad, bad Chocobo. What are you doing stopping like that? Now don't you give me that look. Yeah, I know. The girl and the old man went off together. But with all the goblins around these parts... Fine, I get it. I got it. I got it. Ah! Uh. Boko, come on! I wish Boko could come into battle with us. That would be sweet. <laughs> so I will say this is a nice change of pace from the beginning of the other games where you just are subjected to an unwinnable battle. Let's go. <laughs> like 
like scooping up your pals uh, when they've had too much at the pub and you need to get them home. <laughs> uh, uh. Good morning, Bart's. It seems I can't escape being in your debt. Hey, don't worry about it. Seems like the meteorite's impact caused a few landslides. The road's covered in rubble. I don't think you're going to be able to make it to... I don't know if it's Tool or Tule. Make it to Tule this way. Hey, GB, welcome in. Happy Final Fantasy Friday. Good to see you. But... If I can't get to the Wind Shrine, then... Ugh. Wind Shrine. Oh, God. Hurry. The old guy's pretty dead set on getting there, too. All right. I'll go with you and personally see to it that you get there safely. Oh, really? Yeah, you know my dad always wanted me to go out and travel the world, but it also feels like... like the wind is calling me. What a sweet talker. As if you don't just have the hots for the little lady. What? You're awake? Don't sound so surprised. This old dog is always ready for anything. Still, if the road's blocked, that makes things a sight more difficult. Hmm? I won't give up. There must be a way to reach the Wind Shrine. Right. And we'll find it. Alright. Let's ride. All right, Boko, <laughs> you got your work cut out for you. <laughs> hey, this wasn't here before. <laughs> Always got to save. Always got to save. GB, welcome in. Happy Final Fantasy Friday. Hopefully your day is going well. Big cheers. And also a quick heads up for our non-sub friends. You got an ad coming your way in just about a minute. Maybe a little less. I don't remember there being a cave here. Probably opened up during one of those quakes. Boko, I think this is going to be a little too dangerous for Chocobos. You stay here, okay? Having the chocobo sound as a sensor button has really paid off for this game. <laughs> Works as a nice little sound effect, too. What's that spring? This is a recovery spring. HP and MP restored. All status ailments removed. KO'd allies revived. Very nice. Oh, the battle theme is so good. Gotta do something about this pesky devil crab here. Nice. 
Okay, so we can still do front row, back row. That's good to know. They're all freelancers, so I know the job system is back in this one. Uh, they introduced the job system in Final Fantasy III. And from what I've heard is that they've done a better job with implementation in this one. of these games is just so wonderful. Ugh. Aha. Aha. So that's how you get in. Uh, let me know at any point if the music is too loud or anything needs adjusted. This is so good. is just a fist fighter so far. I didn't want to go out yet. Okay, good. Good, good. That ship just now. How was it sailing with the wind so weak? Must be magic. I, I agree, Mattis. It definitely does. And even with this, I don't know if anybody else has headphones in, but there's like little guitar riffs like that are layered way under everything else that are just kind of really cool. In the battle theme, even though it's different, it's still so much the same. Ah, I love it. The familiar yet different is a really nice touch. get down with this. These are some of the worst pirates ever. This is a pirate hideout. Meaning that ship we saw must have been a pirate ship. I wonder if they might give us a ride. 
Um, I think the only ride they'd be interested in would be a keel haul for all three of us. Yeah, you can't ask a favor from a pirate. That's why we'll just sneak on and steal their ship. Whoa, you're pretty gutsy for an old timer. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I have no idea what that did, but I'm sure it was necessary. Oh, he's sleeping. Looks like he's laughing. the other side. We got Captain Sleeps a lot. Cap, fix the rudder. Take the helm. I'm, I'm soldier. I'm a... <laughs> Little pirates talking in his sleep. How cute. How cute. stuff. Time to cast off. Well, cast off means start sailing, kid. I know that. The wheel won't even budge. How do you work this thing? You try working anything and there'll be the devil to pay. Exactly, Maddest. <laughs> Trying to steal my ship, are you? You've a lot of brass. Or mayhap you're lacking in brains. I'd wager it's the latter. Wait, I am Princess Lena of Tycoon. Please accept my apologies for attempting to commandeer your ship. What? She's a princess. So the girl's royalty. Sir, this is a formal request from the Kingdom of Tycoon. Please allow us to the use of your vessel. I must get to the Wind Shrine. My father is in danger. Oh ho, the Princess of Tycoon. Here, on my ship. I'm sure we could fetch a tasty sum for this one. Hey, leave her alone, you degenerate, lecherous, piratey, pirate. I beg of you, please. That pendant. Toss the lot of them into the brig. Aye, aye, Captain. Well, this is a fine how do you do. How do you do? 
What genius came up with this idea to steal a pirate ship anyway? Man, that accent has totally shifted big time, and my apologies there. <laughs> Look in the mirror, Pops. Oh, my aching head, I can't remember a thing. And your amnesia so conveniently returns. I'll blame his amnesia for the accent slip there. Still, I can't believe you're really the princess of Tycoon, Lena. I'm sorry, I didn't intend to keep it a secret. It's not that big a deal. But if you're the princess, why were you going to the wind shrine all alone? My father is there. He hadn't been gone long when the wind dropped to almost nothing. I just can't shake the feeling that something terrible is happening. I slipped out of the castle and headed for the shrine, but then that meteor fell, and you know the rest. Jack, welcome in. Good to see you. If Galif doesn't say donkey at some point, I'm going to be really disappointed. <laughs> oh, goodness. Welcome in. Good to see you. Happy Final Fantasy Friday. Why does the Princess of Tycoon have the same pendant as I do? She said her father's at the Wind Shrine. We didn't ask you to show it, dude. The same. Prepare to cast off, lads. Set a course for the Wind Shrine. But, Captain, what about the landlubbers? Untie them. Sometime today would be nice. But why? I reconsidered your request. You can go back to the brig if you'd prefer. Full anchor. We sail for the wind shrine. Hey, something's wrong with your ears today. I hope I don't have to repeat myself. Well... Aye, 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 Captain. And this uh, pirate theme is pretty dang nice. Not gonna lie. The wind has stopped. How can the ship move? Full of curiosity, aren't you, lass? Sildra, come up and say hello. Oh, sweet. Beautiful, isn't she? Sildra and I were raised together. We're close as siblings. All right, we're off. Captain, shall I sail her to the wind train for ye? No. I want to do it. <laughs> Even though I have no idea where it's at. So we're going to do drop a save. And to explore. And to explore. Oh, this is a uh, tool or Thule. I, I don't know how they pronounce it in this game. 
Grog, Grog. <laughs> Typical pirates, man. Right for the tavern. Think I'll stop in and have a drink as well. Huh? A meteorite crashed near Castle Tycoon? One fell in the mountains to the west, too. Guess they're in season. What an attitude to have. <laughs> Not, uh... Ten gil, that's pretty nice. That's a nice price there. Instead of concern, I guess it's in season. How much, uh... Oh, dang, we got some money. Now we don't. <laughs> All right. I'm training to be a bard. Listen to this. Long, long ago in the canal to the east, a big old ugly monster was having a feast. It ate lots of people, 53 at least. But the good guys used the crystal and sealed away the beast. Oh, yeah! My granddad says he regrets telling me that story now, but you guys liked it, right? <laughs> you look a little wet behind the ears. How about I take you to the Greenhorns Club? Yeah, I reckon so. First, shut your eyes. Can't have just anybody figuring out where it's at. Can we have some sussy emotes in chat for the... Uh, man who's leading us to uh, something unknown. So I'm sure this is like the tutorial area. Howdy. Would I be right to assume you're new to this adventuring thing? <laughs> yeah. Alrighty then. Come on in. Keep an eye out for secret passages. Try walking through the wall to my left, and you'll catch my drift. Thieves can learn the ability Find Passages. Then they can see secret passages with no trouble at all. Urns and chests like these sometimes have goodies inside. Why don't you try and have a look-see? Nice. Yeah, this was worthwhile. Job abilities, yes. This is what I'm interested in. Because this is where Wooly Brain just goes... Whew. The fragments of the Shattered Crystal are imbued with the power of legendary warriors. The four chosen by the crystals are granted use of those powers in the form of jobs. We get knight, thief, oh, then they go quickly, <laughs> black mage, by assigning jobs the four characters gain special abilities that correspond to those jobs. Dude, thank you so heckin' much for 11 months, dude. That is, uh, means a whole heckin' lot, my friend. Welcome on in. Happy Final Fantasy Friday. If Daisy is right there next to you, please, please, please give her a big old belly rub from us. Or, you know, some scritches behind the ears, whatever she's into. The character's job and abilities determine the types of armor and weapons he or she can equip. Don't worry. Characters automatically equip the best available gear whenever you assign them a new job. Use the configuration menu to change gear manually. Well, that's kind of nice. That's one thing I didn't like in 3 is trying to have to, like, redetermine everything. 
By mixing and matching different jobs and abilities, you can create warriors with unique skill sets, such as Black Mage that can use the jump ability or a knight that can use white magic. Let's take the latter as an example of how to use the job system. First, we'll set our job to that of a white mage. Welcome in, Strufty. Thank you very much, dude. One of her favorites is uh, Scritches Between the Eyes. That's interesting. Not a lot of dogs uh, like that, kind of like along the bridge of the nose, like at the top there. Not a lot of dogs like that. Much like experience points, as battles are won, you will receive ability points. With enough ability points, you'll gain the white mage ability, uh, white magic. Now let's switch jobs to that of knight and choose white magic as the ability. Okay, this is really cool. Your equipment will automatically be optimized to the strongest combination. Now you have successfully created a knight who can perform white magic. Which is probably what I'll want to do for Bart's. Because he kind of seems like the stereotypical knight paladin type of uh, loadout. Seriously, dude, Strufty, thank you very, very much for 11 months, dude. That is so heckin' crazy to me that. It's almost been a year. Thank you very, very much. Saving the game is something you should do often. Yeah, I already knew that. <laughs> you can harm ghosts and the undead with recovery magic, such as cure. Yep. Try putting mages and other folks in the back row. Yep. Another thing we learned early on. If your hair suddenly turns white, it means you're aging, and you'll gradually get weaker and weaker. What? <laughs> Do they have an aging system in this game? Inside the chest is a present for me. Aw. Oh, what a jerk. The bait and switch of this old man. Other shoes, okay. Weight mode. In the config menu, there's a setting called weight. Switch your battles to weight mode. This action will pause while you're in magic or item windows, allowing you to... Oh, yep, I like that. Oh, it's already on weight. Okay. We'll just leave it there, then. It was there by default. When your hit points are running low, use a potion or white magic. Yeah. How about I fill you in on a couple of useful abilities? Sure. Two-handed. With this ability, when you have a weapon in one hand and the other hand is empty, your attack strength doubles. Basically, you're a one-handed weapon with two hands, so you can attack with a heavier swing. Sprint. As long as one person in your party has sprint, you can run faster through towns and dungeons by pressing the cancel button. Sweet. Blue magic and learn. Aha! So that's like the enemy skill from Final Fantasy VII. And uh, Blue Magic makes a return with, uh... Is it Quina in Final Fantasy IX? However, to learn them, you'll need to set the Blue Mage ability, learn, and then get hit by the enemy attack. You can learn attacks like Goblin's Punch, uh, a Steel Bat's Vampire, or a uh, Moldwind's Arrow. But to use a monster's skill in battle, you'll need the Blue Mage ability, Blue Magic. That uh, those numbers that pop up during battle, while white numbers indicate damage. Yep. Okay. Yeah, we're all set. I think we're acquainted with the game now. Struffy, happy Final Fantasy Friday, my friend. Hopefully you're doing well. Thank you so very much again. Uh, what uh, Platinum Trophy are you working on right now, Struffy? I uh, was working on Crisis Core, and I still am. I, I do intend to fully platinum that game. But one thing that's a pain, and if you go to do it, I'm just going to warn you, 
there is uh, missable side missions. So if you get far enough in the game, you won't be able to regain them, but you can still work through the other missions, and I made that mistake. I had a later save in the game that I loaded up so I could grind through those missions and got through like 60% and found out that I couldn't get through all the way through 100%. So I had to get through to another new game plus cycle in order to get those missions back. But I had all my strength and materia and whatnot, so it made it a lot easier to grind through those missions again, but it's, uh, it's awful, dude. So if you're going to do that, just be wary of, of that, and anybody who's going to do the, that trophy for that matter. <laughs> Don't make Wooly's mistakes. Please do not make my mistakes. Don't forget about me. Of course, he shows up just in time for uh, buying armor and things. See ya. <laughs> Weapons? I'm sure he's going to pop up here, too. <laughs> uh, we have enough for one. Let's go with the staff, because I am going to assign that duty. Can I set jobs right now, or no? Nope. Must be a story event that we have to do. And it seems like the winds died down some, don't you think? Well, it's completely stopped, but sure. <laughs> the beast in the canal only seems to target women. That's a bit sus. If you take the canal eastward, you'll get... To the kingdom of Walse. Walse has prospered thanks to the water crystal. So here we probably have spells. Of which we don't have the money for. Great snakes. The pub's overrun by pirates. The wind crystal's power is amplified by a machine. It lets our ships sail even faster than before. The next liner from Waltz really should be arriving any time now. Be careful, the pub is full of pirates. Okay, let's go ahead and walk into the pub for some pints and fights. It is a uh, pints day after all. Captain's upstairs. Take a load off and drink up. Captain, so dreamy. <laughs> Look real close. You're a fetching lass, Lena. Uh, we're only helping you because the captain ordered, so don't go get the wrong idea. Higher boss went upstairs. Um, why don't you have a seat? Just keep your eyes on me, tee hee hee. Ugh. I am not looking at anything. You're the perv here, not me. Dude, stop projecting. <laughs> Sorry, there's nothing left. Those pirates drink the house dry. Hold on. I'll go check on him. <laughs> Arts, what have you got that goofy look on your... Oh, this is... Uh... Bear with me on the accent here. Arts, what have you got that goofy look on your face for? Uh, what do you mean? Must have been a trick of the light or or something. For crying out loud. Shove over, let me see. <laughs> what? Is this a 
all about. <laughs> Great Caesar's ghost. Just gorgeous. A beauty for the ages. What in the world are you two going on about? Slept like a babe, I did. What are you two gawking at? Get a hold of yourselves. Now shove off. I need some time to myself. I hope they explain this later. This is one of the weirdest scenes. <laughs> yeah, that was strange. I, I don't know. Uh... Oh, wait. I forgot to check uh, for treasure. Nope, nothing. Pirates must have got that too. Oh ho, trying to give me the slip. I think not. I'm just going to take a little look around here. I feel bad for Boko, though. Uh, Boko's still left all on their own. Oh, yeah. Um, do they have a release date for that, uh, Pwamis? Uh, Genso uh, Sukoden? Am I saying that correctly? squirrels. I will have to do that. I will have to do that. Alright, what else do we have here? Is this the shrine? Well, it seems like a lot of activity going on here. Princess Lena. What's happened? Is everything all right? The wind suddenly stopped, and now monsters have overrun the shrine. What about father? The king went up to the top floor. He has yet to return. Something must have happened to him. Crystals on the top floor, right? Won't hurt to go up and take a look. Ferris, you're right. Come on. When those monsters overran the shrine, we fled to this room and haven't been able to leave. King Tycoon went up to the top floor to check on the crystal, but that was some time ago. And you didn't think to check on him? Controlled by a machine that amplifies its power. Princess, please take these with you. Nice. Drink this water to restore your energy. Ah, very cool. It has fantastic music too. Well, that's all it needs. <laughs> fantastic music and a good story I am a sucker for. That's a way to rope me in. Uh, let's see here. All 
right, so we're not completely underpowered here. That is good to know. I'd like to be able to give them some jobs, though. This is a consecrated circle. You may rest safely in a tent. Oh, cool. is, did I pick the right path for treasure? I did not. <laughs> oh, the battle theme is so good. Too bad everybody's already got a cap. Wasted my money. Oh, dang. That thing is kind of frightening. get these level ups in while we're fairly low stakes. Ooh, empty rooms of Final Fantasy 2 make a return. How wonderful. <laughs> it's going well, Hunters. It's going really well. Oh, secret room. Dang. I could have gone right through there. Okay, we got a new broadsword. Uh, let's see who can use that. There we go. Uh, <laughs> if anything, I'd say Dark Souls is referencing this. <laughs> just in terms of a uh, of release timeline. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Just potion up before we go into the battle. All right. Um, should we throw out a prediction? Why not? Will I first try this, boss? Yes, if you have faith. No, if you uh, are a realist. Wow, got somebody going way in with the 5k. Way in with the 5k points, my goodness. <laughs> I don't know the boss either, so we'll, we'll find out. I'll give you just a tiny bit longer to uh, throw some points in. <laughs> Anybody got big plans for the weekend? I'm excited. Um, where we're going for the Final Fantasy piano concert uh, there's a nearby brewery that makes a Final Fantasy beer. And so I'm very, very excited to visit there and uh, get to experience that beer, too. It, it better not be another Frida or Freda situation, Hunters, because uh, a three-phase boss is like the first big boss of the game. Eh, I don't know. I don't know. All right, let's go for it. This guy's not playing around. Oh, dang. He is cool.
There we go. Uh-oh. Yeah. My attacks are going to do nothing while he's... Uh... Yep, another burb. This thing's cool. He's got some, uh, some Phoenix Eagle type uh, vibes to him. So when he covers up, that's actually a good time to heal. I'll have to remember that. Oh, easy peasy. Hegel, welcome in, dude. Good to see you. Good to see you. Happy Final Fantasy Friday. What? No experience from a boss? Really? What's up with that? What the heck is up with that? I better uh, get you uh, channel points back, whoever, uh, whoever voted in the prediction here. There you go. Get all 5,000 points back. <laughs> Plummies, thanks for the faith. Thank you for the faith. Uh, let's see here. I need to click back into the game, don't I? There we go. Ah. There's something over here. There we are. Easy peasy. Oh, hey, we got a staff. We'll save that for when we uh, actually get assigned jobs. So, Hegel, have you done any of the uh, older Final Fantasy games? So, all I know about this one is the job system is back. Uh, from 3, but just a little bit better. And uh, the 3 was really good, but I'm excited for a more expanded, uh, better implementation of the job system, which I've heard this one has, so I'm excited. I'm excited. Oh, that crystal prelude music. It just hits like no other, uh, no other intro music can. The crystal. It shattered. What the? Okay, that's fire crystal. What is it doing? Courage, the essence of flame. Oh, we're getting stuff from the other crystals. This is cool. I'm assuming this is water crystal. Devotion, the essence of water. Well, the cool thing is, these are coming out for uh, PlayStation and for Nintendo Switch. Um, and they're still out for um, Android and and iOS. So if you're looking for something to, uh, to play when you're on vacation, Hegel, like on a plane ride or something, this wouldn't be a bad shout. Hope. The Essence of Earth. Passion, the essence of wind. What was that? What's happening? Feels warm. Are these the crystal's essences? Oh, Hegel. <laughs> oh, that's funny. And, uh... Father 
listen and listen well. You are the chosen four, the warriors of light, bearers of the four crystal essences. Father, do you mean? The wind crystal has already shattered. The other three crystals are in danger as well. You four must protect them. An evil presence is awakening, one that wishes to return everything to darkness. Father! Go forth, warriors of light, and save the crystals. Wait! No, Father! Weird how they snapped the crystals in like that. I kind of wish they just kept them around the edges, but. What are these? Guess they're pieces of the crystal. They are crystal fragments and stored within the power of warriors of legend. Knight. Monk. Blue mage. Thief. Black Mage, White Mage. So now we can assign jobs. Okay. We'll, we'll get uh, new job crystals that we get to unlock new jobs. This is neat. Enjoy the Lurk Kegel. Good luck with the workout. Hopefully you get a uh, an awesome, good sweat session and uh, you're able to, uh, you know, recover properly, hydrate, and... Uh, be able to have a really really good weekend and uh, i know your trip is coming up too so hopefully you're able to uh you know with all the good workouts maybe indulge a little bit size is the prize soul is the goal there you go there you go and uh you know with anything good things come to those who and i threw the proper spelling in chat wait <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's early. The crystal, it's lending us its power. Uh, I think it's time we got out of here. Lena. There should be a, a warp panel behind the altar that will take us outside. Definitely going to ruin the hard work this week. Excellent. <laughs> Life is all about balance, right? All about balance. you like all right let's see if how much of information it repeats the fragments of the shattered crystal are imbued with the power of legendary warriors the four chosen by the crystals are granted use of those powers in the form of jobs yeah we already got this part By assigning jobs, the four characters can gain special abilities. Yep, we learned that. Yep, gotta do the lifting, Kwamis. Gotta do the lifting. So while we're getting a, another recap of the job system, I'll give you a little bit of puppy cam. A little bit of the sleepy girls. So they still have a St. Patrick's uh, hangover, so uh, they'll have their other spring decorations up next week. But uh, the dogs weren't ready to give up on the, the luck decorations quite yet. All 
Oh, the music's so good. It is so dang good. Much like experience points, as battles are won, you receive ability points. Yep. Mr. Chocobo. Alright, let's set our jobs. So I think I want to do exactly what they did in the tutorial. I want, uh... Can I set abilities yet? Okay, not yet. He's going to be a white mage. I'm actually going to set her to be a thief. Let's make uh, Gallop a monk. Because he's already kind of... Uh... You know what? Uh, a monk-blue mage combo would be pretty cool. Let's start him out as a blue mage. And then let's uh, set uh, Ferris as a... You know, let's go Black Mage. There we are. We all have jobs now. Fighting stray cats. <laughs> um, let's see here. Weird that we don't have any abilities yet, but uh, maybe they pop up as we go. gate is locked. Can't go that way yet. Alright. Let's go up back around this way. Okay, because it looks like there's some stuff over there, but we can only get to it by land. Nothing. <laughs> All out of luck there. Dang, Lena went from one of our weakest hitters to one of our most powerful. I kind of like that. I like that we can flip the whole, you know, helpless princess thing uh, trope on its head here. Make her one of our strongest. You know, it'd be cool to make her a knight as well. Oh, dang. Nope. Nope. <laughs> yeah, those bander snatches were uh, a little rough. A little rough on poor Barts there.
Dang, 65? Okay, we're fine. No, we're not fine. <laughs> That's the one thing I liked about Phoenix Downs in Crisis Core, is they gave you full health uh, when it was used, which was really, really nice. But here, not so much. <laughs> yep, off to the pub. I like it. I like that he sticks to his, uh, his convictions, you know? He doesn't go changing just because of the, the way of the world. And for our non-sub friends, we got an ad coming up in about two minutes. Just a quick heads up there. Spinny, spinny, spinny wheel. I think I'm going to throw up, but I'm having so much fun. Oh yeah, that is fun. <laughs> See, can we learn cure? That would be nice. That would be really nice. Uh, that would be cool. Jay, welcome in, dude. Been lurking for a bit. I hope all is well. Yeah. Roxy is just coughing, hacking a little bit. She must have had a furball or something. So this is cool. You buy the spell, and then anybody that can use those spells can use it. You don't have to, like, equip them on anybody, like Materia, or, like, in past games, make that particular character learn it. So that's pretty cool. I like that. Yeah, she's all good. She's all good. Yep. Oh, oh, did I say your name? <laughs> I know. I know, puppy dog. We'll give you some more complimentary puppy cam. Oh, I'm pretty sure that is Zox's house. Someone you know? Yes, he built the Torna Canal. Hey, that's how we get the key. Welcome in, AJ. Hope you're, hope you're doing well, dude. Oh, Princess Lena. Zok, it is good to see you. You too. It's been a long time. Zok, I have a favor to ask. We need to pass through the Torna Canal so we can reach Walsh. I'm afraid it's much too dangerous. Ever since the Wind Crystal was destroyed... Mmm, beer. Mmm, beer. A foul beast has made the canal its lair. Mattis, let me know what you want as a custom sound and we can get that going. Moreover, I I seem to have lost the key to the canal somewhere. I'm sorry. I can't help you with the key. Still, since you've come all this way, won't you at least stay the night? Woohoo! <laughs> Wonderful! 
I'll show you to your room. You know, that would have been nice to know. Um, <laughs> if I didn't waste money on the inn. But Maddest, uh, thank you for being a part of the community long enough to now have a second sound command. It's a lot of hoppiness units, and I appreciate the heck out of you, dude. Thank you. The crystals. Now that I think of it, they're the reason Dad... The crystals must be protected at any cost. Listen, Stella, if anything should happen to me, never tell Bartz about the crystals. They shouldn't be his burden to bear. Oh, darling, please don't say things like that. Oh, the music. It's so good. No, just keep that theme going. That was wonderful. Father, I'll protect the crystals. I promise. Zok, what were you doing? What's the matter? Arts? N nothing. I just was reminded of my folks. They died a while back, though. Here. Take it. Huh? Take what? The key to the canal. With it, you can open the gate and travel to the walls. I was worried for Lena's safety, so I hid the key. Please, take care of her. Well, here we are. All right. Princess, please take care of yourself. Have a safe journey. Kind of wish we had a fetch quest for the key. You know, it seems kind of easy. Wait up! Sorry, lads. I'm leaving you laggards behind. Come! But why? You know we'd follow you to the ends of the earth! I know, and I thank you for it. But not this time. Come! The smells of a long journey. While I'm gone, I need you louts to guard the hideout. We can't let anyone raid our booty. But come, please. I, I, sir. Wind at your back, Captain. Godspeed. He's letting them guard it. They were sleeping when we went through there before. <laughs> Questionable decisions by the Captain, but, you know, we roll with it. <laughs> uh, I appreciate that, Mattis. You're too kind. So I'm going to leave a poll up to you guys because I feel like... Uh, 
the canal might kick off a sequence that might last a while. So, um... And I need to be on time this morning, so what are we going to do with the rest of the stream? Do you want to see me go through the canal a bit? Or do we do some, uh... Final Fantasy VII Power Wash Sim. I uh, got a pull up. Feel free to vote in that thing. What you guys want to see for the rest of stream. Should put voice acting as a tag? No, I could. If you guys think it's uh, a good idea, I'll definitely do that. Some Power Wash Sim? I can definitely do that. <laughs> but we'll, uh, we'll allow for some more votes to roll in here. Oh, these games are so dang good. They are so dang good. And what I could do as well, since these games have a uh, music mode, is I could keep the music of this running. In the background. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Alright, Power Wash Sim it is. We can definitely do that. Right, so we've saved. Let's return to our title screen. And let's... Nope, it's under extras. So the cool thing about these games, in case people didn't know, is uh, you have a bestiary. So you can take a look at what monsters you've uh, encountered and which ones you might be missing. Uh, it's got a gallery, which is really cool. You can see um, like some of the title splashes, some of the original artwork. I mean, how cool is this? So dang cool. And then they also have a music player, so if you're really into the music, uh... So I'm going to do the opening theme, because it's about four minutes long, and we can just loop that one. Or, you know what, let's just do uh, play all. And we'll just let it play in the background. Oh, wait, oops, I gotta, st I gotta stay on that screen. <laughs> Here, here we are. All right, give me a moment and we'll get Power Wash Sim fired up here. Actually, I'm going to give you some puppy cam while we do that. Like uh, PlayStation had an update, and it was uh, asking for some notification settings to be approved. Here we are. All right, let's hop back over to here. And our watch sim, are you working? There we are. And I'm going to pull the volume down on Power Wash Sim quite a bit. And you guys let me know if it's too loud or too quiet. Because the actual spraying sound isn't uh, all that appealing. <laughs> so we're going to continue the campaign. And last time we finished off the uh, Hardy Daytona and the Shinra Hauler. So we're on the Scorpion Sentinel. 
Reeve tells me you're quite the shot. Shame those skills are wasted on cleaning up literal filth instead of enemies of the state, but no matter. As head of public security, my job is to keep the city safe, and of the most effective ways to do that is through the deployment of devastating weaponry. My Scorpion Sentinel can snuff out insurgents before they can even start reaching for their white flag. But Professor Hojo thinks his test subjects could quell riots better than heavy weapons platform. To prove just how wrong he is, I propose a challenge for him. If one of his juiced up lab rats could even scratch my Sentinel, I'd volunteer to be his next text, next test subject. My goodness. <laughs> I have no doubt my machine stood the test against his mewling varmints, but I still need the Sentinel washed down. After all, isn't that what his beloved scientific process calls for? Evidence? So that's from Heidegger. Go ahead and wash this thing down. How's the uh, music volume? Do I need to adjust that at all, or is that at a good spot, too? Dang, this thing is filthy. This one's going to be tough. Got a lot of uh, little nooks and crannies here. Oh, I suppose I should probably switch my uh, category real quick. <laughs> Wait, what? Sordeo, welcome in. Did I say something weird? Welcome in. <laughs> Yeah, I need to switch my uh, category here. Power wash. It's in. There we are. Yeah, I just I just got to it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It it does kind of look like a enemy from Horizon, doesn't it? Yep. So they released a Final Fantasy VII expansion. Uh, for Power Wash Sim, and it's pretty cool. This wheel? Oh, it's got wheels under there. Interesting. This is cool. There's also a Tomb Raider expansion, too, so, I mean, there's plenty of stuff uh, <laughs> Square has done to uh, make sure people experience more of their IPs. I didn't even know Square made these until I learned about the uh, Tomb Raider expansion. We'll see how much uh, we can get this thing cleaned off this morning. We might not get all of it, but we'll get a fair amount. Yeah, we'll need a ladder for that. It's going to be too much. And I always kind of find myself on, on these getting into, like, just random cleaning and then, then getting into a rhythm of working around something. But at the beginning, I always kind of go fairly random. <laughs> Until I find, like, a, a point I want to work out from. work out from this leg. Ooh, yeah, there's some spots right there. And how's it going today, Sordeo? Happy Final Fantasy Friday. Hopefully you're doing well. Good to see you. Uh, 
uh, got work in a couple hours? Hey, me too. <laughs> me too. Hopefully it goes well today and it goes quickly. Oh, I bet there's some stuff along the top that I just can't reach. I bet that's why. Yep. There we are. Yeah, you really gotta crawl all over to get everything on this one. Like, I'm surprised the level of detail they've done <laughs> on a lot of these uh, things you have to clean in Power Wash Sim. <laughs> this Final Fantasy V music is uh, really interesting <laughs> with Power Wash Sim. <laughs> Oh, Tifa's texting us. Hey, if you're available, I have a job for you in the Sector 7 Undercity. I'm guessing that's probably uh, 7th Heaven. Hey, my goodness. of the wheel there. Nice. Get these bolts all rinsed off. There we are. There we are. I gotta warn you, this game is way too addicting. Uh, so unless you want to find yourself sinking a lot of time into it, uh, maybe don't download it. <laughs> it has been way too addicting for me. Here we are. Okay, we started over here with this one. See if we can get the rest of this kind of cleared up. Oh, no. Come on, Wooly. Use your superior platforming skills. That don't exist, by the way. <laughs> superior platforming is not something we're known for here. There we are. And there's just so many like little spots that are so difficult to get to. <laughs> it's kind of nice kind of get into a flow state with it, Hegel. And it's just, you can just spend hours doing this. It's ridiculous. <laughs> it is so ridiculous. more pressure to get that rust off. There we are. And you can kind of hit a button like I am here just to show you, kind of highlight where the dirt's at. And then later on, and you can even do it early on if you kind of do the pause menu, you can pick something. Like, let me pick something I can probably see. So you can select something like that, and it'll highlight it. I, I 
probably pick something I can't see. It'll highlight it on the... Uh... Yeah, see right there how it's blinking? It'll highlight it for you. So if you get to a spot where you're like near 99% <laughs> and you don't know what's uh, what's left, you can highlight where you haven't quite cleared all the way. And I didn't know that till like embarrassingly too late <laughs> in typical wooly fashion. I think I was way, way, way into the uh, one of the Tomb Raider levels that was just ridiculous to find where the missing stuff was. It was a bit embarrassing. Just a bit embarrassing. Oh, come on. Get up there. <laughs> Get up there. <laughs> clean some of this other stuff while I'm up here. I think for me, I prefer like uh, a lot of the really uh, flat surfaces to clean. Hey, Bethany, welcome in. Welcome in. Uh, can we get some hearts in chat for Bethany? It is her wedding day tomorrow. It is her wedding day tomorrow. So we need some big hearts in chat for her. Uh, hopefully everything's just kind of falling into place for you at this point, and that it's, uh, you're just able to start enjoying the, the festivities. It's uh, a lot of planning that starts to culminate within the couple days before, so... Happy wedding weekend. This is an exciting time for you and, and your family. Very exciting. So please, please, please wish your husband-to-be our very best. And definitely take care of yourself. <laughs> I'm very, very happy for you. Very, very happy for you. Uh, let's see here. Oh, yeah. There's some dirt. There's some dirt. There we are. Oh, that pirate theme. There it is. Ah. Oh. I think I'm going to get addicted to the uh, Final Fantasy V soundtrack. <laughs> it's pretty dang good. Guard, like suspension. Wow, this one's going to take quite a long time. <laughs> but I think uh, that's all I'm going to have time for this morning. We're going to find somebody to raid to. I definitely need to stay on time this morning. <laughs> but we'll pick up there uh, next time. Uh, when we do power wash sim. Okay, so it looks like we've already unlocked seventh heaven as well. I think, yeah. Hey, I'm I'm excited for that one. I'm excited for that one. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, seriously for joining this morning. It's fun. Disney depression has been full swing. Oh, the. 
I, I call it the post-party depression, AJ. <laughs> And I'm I'm gonna have that this week. I got beans. I got beans. I got beans. You made it. Hegel, we can do that. We can do that. I think your bean brother was here earlier too, Hegel. Maddest, you are too sweet. <laughs> you are too heckin' sweet. AJ, uh, DJ wife and I are going to the Final Fantasy Crystal and Resonance piano concert this weekend. And very, very excited for that. So I, I guarantee <laughs> I'm going to be suffering from a little bit of the post-party depression, too. So let me hop on over here. We'll give you some more puppy cam before the end of stream, I promise. <laughs> Sriracha, which is always a gamble because they all look like either Sriracha or Reaper. So it's going to be one or the other. And uh, Hagel, enjoy your safe travels on, on your vacation, dude. Hopefully you have a wonderful, wonderful time. Hagel, thanks for the little bit of fire for my day and my weekend. Okay, good. That is Sriracha. I think. I think. <laughs> All right, who can we raid this morning? Who can we raid? Fire in your belly to take on the day. Absolutely. <laughs> so we could raid over to... I know we raid over to uh, Carly quite a bit. Uh, Felicia. Otherwise, our other options are... Uh, Reliever is playing some Resident Evil 4. I'm guessing the uh, the remake. Which, uh, might be a little jarring compared to the, uh, calm, cozy vibes we've had this morning. Well, let's see if anybody else is playing Final Fantasy V. Have a great day, everyone. See you later. Bethany, have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. I'm so very happy for you. And just a reminder, take some time, uh both you and your fiance take some time on your wedding day to just take it all in it can be difficult to uh find a moment to yourself so please 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 make sure you do that and stay hydrated make sure you got plenty of food because it's it's tough to uh keep up the energy it's a long long day but it is also one of the best days so i wish you all the best and and again several 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 lifetimes worth of health and happiness it is uh i know we'll see you again but definitely just want to say that before you get married because uh it's important that people uh wish your marriage the best as it starts yeah the day goes by super fast <laughs> super super fast okay Looks like all we got on Final Fantasy V is uh, speedruns or not English, so we're gonna, we're gonna swerve on that one. Uh, let's just go over to Carly. Carly's always nice, warm welcomes and all that, so uh, let's raid over to Carly. Um, thank you, Strufty Dude, for the uh, 11 month resub, you beautiful, beautiful human you. Can we get some hearts and cheers and GGs in chat for Strufty? And I'm going to give a shout out to Carly, just so you know how to find us in case you get lost, in case uh, Twitch doesn't bring you along for the raid. That is where you can find us. We're still uh, in the month of luck, so we're still using the Luck of the Wooly raid. If you can uh, be sure to share that as we hop on in to Carly's stream, that would be very appreciated. Maddest, you beautiful, beautiful human you. And that went to Rain. Rain is such a good friend of the channel. And a wonderful, wonderful human. So, dude, thank you very, very much for that. That is much, much appreciated. Rain, if you're hanging about, enjoy the emotes. Enjoy the ad-free for 30 days, courtesy of the maddest dog himself. What a beautiful lad you are. Do you say, do you say goodbye to everybody? Baby girls, huh? Do you wish them a good weekend? <laughs> oh, they're too much some mornings. 
All right, everybody, we're going to kick off this raid the way we always do. With uh, wishes for you to take care of yourselves, stay hydrated, get plenty of rest, enjoy all the festivities you can handle on a weekend, because, uh, you know, sometimes it's time for rest and sometimes it's time to enjoy uh, a lot of companionship and activities. So whatever you can uh, fit in, um, please do so. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other, and by gosh, everybody, we'll see you on Monday with more Dark Souls 3. Cheers to the weekend. Take care.